bold framing of some Spanish architecture this week on In the Field. Hi everybody, welcome back to In the Field. My name is Scott Davenport, thanks for joining me. And uh, today, another shot from my visit to Spain and Portugal over the summer, this time in the city of Madrid, and uh, the Puerta de Alcala, which is the, you know, the gateway to the city you know, in old times. It, was the, it sits up on the edge of the hill on the outskirts of the, the center of the old city. A, a beautiful piece of architecture. It really does not need much introduction at all. So I want to take you right over to the maps, show you this beauty, and then show you some footage from the shoot. So here's the historic center of Madrid. And right over here is the Puerta de Alcala. It sits in this little traffic circle right at the edge of the Retiro Park, which in and of itself is really, really nice. Switch over the satellite view, we can get a better look at this guy. So here is the structure itself. Switch to 3D, there we go. And so you can get an idea of what this guy looks like. It's several arches. Uh, it, it kind of reminds me of the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Uh, but the, you know, this one has its own distinguishing beauties. You can't climb up it like, uh, like the one in Paris, but uh, it also is very accessible. And because it's not a major tourist attraction, you don't have people running all around it. It is kind of just there on its own. And so uh, I ended up setting up, uh, you know, first walking all the way around and then setting up kind of around this spot here and shooting more or less this way. If you could imagine these buildings not being there, you know, looking at roughly this kind of setup. Let's jump over to the actual footage from the shoot. I've been milling about the base of the Puerta de Alcala in Madrid. My last night here, uh, work up something. Uh, the sun's getting blocked out, so unfortunately I'm not getting as much of uh, that nice pink light that I've been seeing bathing the other buildings in the city this week. But uh, this is still just a, a fantastic architectural subject, so I'm sure that there'll be something to be had one of the angles and perspectives here. And these interesting swirls of flowers might make for a very nice foreground subject too. I think I've settled on my composition for the evening hour. Using these two flower beds on either side to lead in from the corners and then the entire structure itself in the frame. And as a little bonus, I'm not sure if it'll come out in the video, but the uh, crescent moon is just above the top of the structure. That'll be really nice. Now it's a matter of the waiting game. I've got a, a solid hour probably before there's, uh, the sky's dark enough, and the lights have come up in this building to make this photo really sing. So uh, it's time to sit down and just wait it out. So while I have this bunch of time on my hands, I'm paying attention to the traffic at the corners and seeing uh, when traffic is stopped and when it uh, travels through. So once the lights go down, I don't want to have a, like this, for example, this blue and white bus just sitting there in the back of the frame. I want everything else to be blurred out so it's just all about the structure. Notice too, there's a, on this side of the camera here, the camera left, this collection of traffic there. That's a stopping point. So I'll choose to fire the shutter once traffic starts moving through on both sides. And if I can't get traffic to move on both sides at the same time, there's the magic of post-production. Compositionally, this was pretty straightforward. I circled around the, uh, the Puerta de Alcala once, deciding uh, which angle I wanted to shoot from. This is an interesting building in the sense that, for the most part, both sides of it are the same. You know, the same carvings, the same uh, insignias. I think the, um, the, the figures on the top are a little bit different. Uh, certainly a factor was where the light was coming and going, and what was behind the structure. And so uh, I chose what you saw there in the footage. And then it was a matter of just waiting for the light. Uh, when it became such a straightforward uh, choice for the composition, I spent most of my time just waiting until the sky got blue enough to take the shot. The tip of the week is to try bolder angles when you're photographing architecture. I did consider a straight on shot for this, you know, very symmetrical and looking at the city streets from through the, uh, the arches and letting them fade off in the distance. It just didn't speak to me as much. Uh, so for a more dominating presence in the frame, uh, I shot on an angle, used a wide-angle lens, uh, got reasonably close so that the front portion of the building is going to be more exaggerated by that wide-angle lens and looking almost larger than life, and uh, shooting slightly upward, so tilting your camera a little bit upward, you know, get the tripod down a little bit, uh, depending on the size of the structure you're working with, 
and all of those things need to come together, you get a much more bolder looking building in the frame. That is it for this week in the field. I hope you've enjoyed it and picked up a couple of tips you can use the next time you're out with the camera. And I would like to hear from you. If you have questions, please let me know. You can contact me through my website, through comments on the video. And uh, if you did enjoy this, tell a friend, shout out to your social networks, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, uh, wherever you might be lurking and looming in the social uh, sphere of the world. I would really appreciate that. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting. Thank you.